Hello and welcome to the next video of our channel Practical Hope. In this video, we are going to solve a system of linear equations using Gauss elimination method. Say these are the equations that we need to solve. These are n equations. We need to find n solutions x1 to xn. There are two methods to obtain solution of a non-homogeneous system of linear equations. First, iterative methods. Second, direct methods. We are going to focus on uh, Gauss elimination method. This uh, Gauss elimination method can be divided into two parts. First one, triangularization and uh, second, back substitution. Once we do triangularization, we get uh, above set of equations like these. Now we can apply the second part that is back substitution. Say we choose the last equation, we can directly calculate xn equal to bn by ann. Then once we know xn, we can calculate xn minus 1 from this uh, n minus 1 equation by putting the value of xn. In this way, we keep moving upwards and uh, reach this uh, equation number 1 from which we can calculate x1. Let's see how to do the triangularization. Step 1 is eliminate x1 from equation 2 onwards, that is from equation 2 to n. So first equation will remain as such. And how we can eliminate x1 from equation 2? We subtract from equation 2 a21 divided by a11 times the first equation. If we do that, we get equation like this. Here there is no x1. Similarly, subtract from equation 3 a31 divided by a11 times the first equation. Then we'll get equation like this. Here also there is no x1. Proceeding in a similar way, we subtract from nth equation a n1 divided by a11 times the first equation. So finally, we'll get nth equation like this. So you can see we have uh, eliminated x1 from equations 2 to n. Then we move on to step number 2. In this step, we'll eliminate x2 from equations 3 to n. So equation number 1 and 2 will remain as such. Subtract from equation 3rd a prime 3 2 divided by a prime 2 2 times the second equation. If we do that, we get third equation like this. So here there is no x2. Similarly, subtract from equation 4 a prime 4 2 divided by a prime 2 2 times the second equation and so on till the nth equation. If we do that, we get equations like these. Now you can see from third equation onwards, there is no x2. Proceeding in a similar manner till eliminating x n minus 1 from the nth equation, we get equations like these. So this is how we do the triangularization. In second equation, there is no x1. In third equation, there is no x2 and so on. And finally, the last equation has only one term that is xn. So as discussed earlier, we can uh, apply now back substitution, find xn from the last equation, then putting the value of xn in second last equation, we get the value of of uh, x n minus 1 and uh, proceeding in a similar manner we get all the values of x. Let's take an example. Say these are the equations. First we do the triangularization. So we'll eliminate x1 from uh, second and third equation. These are the ways to do that. First we'll subtract from second equation 1 by 12 times the first equation and subtract from third equation 3 by 12 times the first equation. If we do that we get the three equations like these. In second and third equation, there is no x1. Then eliminate x2 from equation 3. To do this, subtract from equation third 6.25 divided by 4.75 times the second equation. If we do that, we get three equations like these. So this is how we do the triangularization. Now we'll do the back substitution from equation third. We can calculate x3 equal to 39 divided by 9.75. So x3 is 4. Putting the value of x3 in equation 2, we get x2. And finally, putting the value of x2 and x3 in equation 1, we get the value of x1. This way, we are going to solve the set of equations and find the solutions. Let's move on to the programming part now. First, give a suitable title, solve system of equations using Gauss elimination method. CLC is to clear the console and clear is to clear the variables in the workspace. First we define A matrix and then vector B. Then N equal to length of B. We should know how many variables we need to find out and that will be equal to the length of vector B. 
since b has three elements so we'll have three solutions x1 x2 x3 then we are putting a matrix and this b vector in a common matrix that is a here we are mixing a and b because uh, while triangularization not just the coefficient matrix a should be changed but the values of b will also get changed so to do both the changes simultaneously we are mixing a and b to one matrix a now the size of a matrix will be 3 by 4 the fourth column will have the values of b 1 28 and 76 next display we can display the initial values of the coefficient matrix a and vector b then triangularization first we define a for loop j that will run from 1 to n minus 1 then we define another for loop i that will run from j plus 1 to n then we define a multiplication factor as you can see from this uh, step 1 a21 by a11 a31 by a11 and this an1 by a11 these are the multiplication factors so multiplication factor is aij divided by ajj then once we get the multiplication factor we can calculate a i comma colon equal to a i comma colon minus mf star a j comma colon suppose j is equals to 1 then i will be j plus 1 that is 2 so multiplication factor will be a 2 1 divided by a 1 1 same as you can see here then you can see from here we have to subtract from second equation this multiplication factor times the first equation so i here is 2 we are subtracting from second equation multiplication factor times the first equation j is 1 so a 1 comma colon in this way we are subtracting from second equation uh, multiplication factor times the first equation similarly for j is equals to 1 the next value of i will be j plus 2 that is 3 so then it will subtract from third equation then fourth equation and so on till the nth equation then for j equal to 2 this step will start that is will subtract from third equation now i will be 3 so a 3 comma colon so then we'll subtract from the third equation fourth equation till nth equation and the values of j will vary till n minus 1 and i will vary till n so in this way we are going to do the triangularization now we can display the new coefficient matrix a so disp matrix of coefficients after triangularization a next we have to do the back substitution before writing the program for back substitution let's uh, see how we are going to do it first say we define a variable ax ax is a name of a variable you can give it any name it is sum of aij multiplied by xj now what is this aij xj for first equation it is the sum of these terms a11x1 plus a12x2 till a1 and xn for second equation if we calculate ax it will be the sum of these terms for third equation and finally for last equation ax will be a n n x n initially we are assuming that uh, all the x values x1 to x n are 0 now we are defining this expression x i equal to b i minus a x divided by a i i so this is uh, how we are going to calculate the values of x i x1 x2 till x n using this formula let's see how it will work as discussed earlier in back substitution we have to start from the last equation that is this equation so the starting value of i will be n you can see from this expression xn equal to bn minus ax now what will be the value of ax for this last equation ax is ann into xn and what is the value of xn at this point zero so the value of ax will be zero divided by aii so ann this is xn and you can also see from this equation what is the value of xn it is bn by ann same now we have got the value of xn so now x vector will be like this we have evaluated one term choose uh, i equal to n minus 1 second last equation if we use this formula of xi we get xn minus 1 equal to b n minus 1 minus a n n x n divided by a n minus 1 n minus 1 what is the value of ax here for the second last equation you can see that uh, xn minus 1 is 0 at this point so this term will be 0 so ax will be a n n x n and if you see from equation also how you are going to calculate the x n minus 1 b n minus 1 minus a n n x n divided by a n minus 1 and minus 1 same as this expression 
So in this way we are going to get the value of x n minus 1 and proceeding in a similar manner we can evaluate the values of x1, x2, x3 till xn. Let's implement it also. Evaluate solutions using back substitution. First we are defining a x vector of one row and n columns having all the values 0 and these are the initial values of x1, x2 till xn. Display solutions are Next we define a for loop i that will run from n till 1. So first i will be n, then n minus 1, then n minus 2 and so on till n is 1. We have to define this uh, variable ax and is equal to sum of a i comma 1 colon n. We are only considering uh, n columns of a because n plus 1 column are the values of b that we don't want. We want only the values of coefficient matrix A without B. So we have not taken this uh, till n plus 1 dot star x. This is for uh, element wise multiplication and SUM is a standard inbuilt function of Scilab to calculate the sum of all these terms. So it's going to uh, multiply element wise the terms of uh, matrix A i row 1 to n columns with vector x and sum will calculate the sum of all the terms. Once we get ax, we can calculate xi equal to ai n plus 1 minus ax divided by ai. So this ai comma n plus 1 are the new values of the vector b. Then we can display. We are writing it uh, in this way so that at the output along with the values of x1, x2 and x3, we should also get the string x1, x2, x3. Minimize. This is the final program executed. We need to save it. Go to the console. First, we are getting the original values of the A matrix and the vector B, and then we are getting the matrix of coefficients after triangularization. And finally, these are the solution x11, x23 and x3 4. I hope you like this video. Share it with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe our channel if you haven't done it yet.